my role as a professor of pharmaceutics at Texas A&M University College Station, I get to work with researchers of diverse backgrounds with unified approach towards better health care. After my PhD from India, I came to the U.S. for my first postdoctoral assignment. I had great time and did some fascinating work in cancer biology. Medicines are generally considered unsafe until they are proven safe. So it is obvious we do a lot of toxicology studies in our day-to-day -day routine in our lab. We are also interested in toxicology because I see a tremendous opportunity where we could contribute to establishing the framework for regulatory approval of these nanotechnology-based drug delivery products. There are several merits uh, in the delivery strategies that we are trying to develop. Primarily, we can convert an injectable into an oral product, which improves the patient compliance. We can also cut down the dose and the frequency of administration. You can also apply these delivery technologies, uh, you know, to, to repurpose the drugs. Also, you can have these delivery technologies utilized early on in the drug discovery program, uh, which allows you to minimize the attrition rates. However, uh, one important thing that one uh, really should bear in mind is that one has to understand the drug and the disease uh, prior to designing a delivery strategy. As described earlier, these technologies can not only improve the patient compliance, but also can have significant impact on retinal investments. And this can happen two different ways. One is you can apply these technologies to the drugs that are going off patent. You can come back onto the clinic or to the market by getting a novel dosage forms designed. And second, you can apply these technologies into early on drug discovery program where most of the drug molecules, about 40% of the drugs discovered like, you know, are water insoluble and uh, developing a dosage form for those is, is not feasible and as a result, they never see clinic. So you can apply these technologies there early on to minimize the attrition rate so you can bring more drugs into the clinic. If we succeed in our current projects, it will change the way medicines are delivered to the patients.